See how that plate buckles on us? It looks like it's buckling. Got a couple drill holes to drill out. I think I'm gonna drill out them center spire holes a little bigger. I don't like how we don't have a big fire in the middle anymore.
Here's a quick look at the boiler before I bury it. We have some uh, forged refractory underneath a fire blanket here to insulate the outside of the coil. I didn't want to do flames on both sides because I decided that using the water wall would be the best way to keep the box cool. I don't want someone to walk up and burn themselves if they bump into this box. So the insulation dynamic would have been a lot different. This is going to be easier and uh, the burner we're using is better outfitted for this anyway. This is the underside. Pretty snazzy. I'm definitely not a tailor. That's about as pretty as I could get it right there. And I did go ahead and strut almost every coil. Just so it doesn't start growing and moving on you over time and these coils will change shape. This is the one that I did without freezing the coil. Didn't work out as good as the frozen coil, which I'm about to bend, because it goes on the bottom of this burner. This burner plate is coming off of here and being duplicated out of this bad boy right here. I got plenty of drill bits ready. And I'll probably use every one. <laughs> okay, Carlos, so we're getting the burner all laid out here. That is a 3 16th chunk of death. Doing this in steel was easy, but uh, stainless is going to be quite the nightmare. And we'll be attaching that back to that burner. There is the boiler. All coated up. Everything's all strutted up nice. Damn it, man. You're looking at about 11 hours of work right there, guys. Call me what you want. <laughs> it took that many of the small drill bits. Them are ruined. They need sharpened. But sharpening a drill bit this small is quite the challenge. Um, these bigger holes I was able to do at a higher speed because I could sharpen the bit. And, uh... Those holes cut twice as fast as these small holes. But uh, that is a deadly pile of uh, extreme metal splinter right there. Stainless steel filings ain't no joke. I probably ought to clean this whole area up before I do anything else. But uh, there it is, man. We're gonna see this thing in a test action here in a little bit. Definitely like how well the Sharpie did on this. 